Hi, welcome to this video on perimeter area and volume. Let's take a look at today's question. A solid wax candle is in the shape of a cylinder with a cone on top as shown in the diagram. The diameter of the base of the cylinder is 3 cm and the height of the cylinder is 8 cm. The volume of wax in the candle is 21 pi centimeters cubed and we are being asked to find the height of the candle. There are several points that students should note. Firstly, as the cone sits exactly on top of the cylinder, the diameter of the base of the cylinder can be transferred upwards and is also the diameter of the cone. Secondly, the diameter should then be halved to give a radius of 1.5 cm and this will be used in all calculations going forward. Thirdly, the overall height of the candle is the 8 cm added to the unknown height of the cone. We must find this dimension or length if we are to answer the question successfully. Whenever we are asked to find a dimension, we use the strategy formula equals answer. So in this instance, because we're dealing with a compound shape, we will say that the volume of the cylinder added to the volume of the cone will give us the total volume, which in this case is 21 pi. Pi r squared h, which is the volume of a cylinder, added to a third pi r squared h, which is the volume of a cone, is equal to 21 pi. No, please that the height of the cylinder is not the height of the cone. Before filling anything in, let's see if there's anything that will cancel. On the left hand side we've got two terms where pi is common to both. We can factorise out pi and this will allow us to cancel it with the pi on the left hand side of our equation. Here we can see that pi has been cancelled from the, both the left hand side and the right hand side of our equation and now we're ready to fill in our variables. So our radius is 1.5 squared the height of the cylinder is 8 centimetres, we'll calculate that in a moment. That's going to be added to a third, 1.5 squared, which again is the radius of our cone, multiplied by the height of our cone, which we don't know yet, and that's equal to 21. Some calculator work tells us that 1.5 squared times 8 is equal to 18. It also tells us that a third multiplied by 1.5 squared is equal to 3 quarters. So our equation has become 18 plus 3 quarters h is equal to 21. Taking 18 from both sides, our equation becomes 3 quarters h is equal to 3. Dividing both sides by 3 quarters gives a height of 4 centimetres for the cone. If students are going to use this method um, to solve for h, they must make sure they've practiced it on their calculators. Always double check that you've answered what has been asked, i.e. the height of the candle is 12 centimeters that's 8 plus 4